Welcome back to Mason Talks. So Deshaun Watson's meeting with the NFL's independent disciplinary officer, Judge Sue L. Robinson, is set to take place tomorrow, Tuesday, June 28th. And today I wanted to talk about what we should expect from Deshaun Watson's hearing. Now, I think that there are two potential outcomes that we could see in the coming days. And first and foremost, I do think that some sort of decision will be made and released to the public probably towards the end of this week because it is an opportune time for the NFL to do that because they are coming up on a holiday weekend and you know Friday at 4:30 p.m. would be a perfect time to dump this to the media. So I think that we're going to hear one of two possible outcomes in the coming days, one of which would be significantly better for Browns fans and the other would just be completely frustrating for everybody involved. Now, the first possibility, and I think that this is a real possibility, is that Sue Robinson will give Deshaun Watson a relatively light suspension Compare when you're when you're considering the accusations that have been posed against him and the outrage that we've seen from the public and from the media, and that type of suspension I think would be somewhere in the realm of six to eight games, and I think that's a real possibility. I know that it sounds completely outrageous because some people have suggested Deshaun Watson getting even like a sixty game suspension. But depending on what Judge Sue Robinson finds and how it actually can be, uh, you know, interpreted through the NFL's uh, collective bargaining agreement and their code of conduct policy, I think that it could be a lighter suspension than many people are expecting. And if that is the case, I believe the NFL will appeal the suspension, and then that of that that appeal, of course, goes directly. Uh, back to the NFL, back to Roger Goodell. And if the suspension is too light, I think the NFL will appeal and they will give Deshaun Watson a, at, at the bare minimum, 17-game suspension, most likely an indefinite suspension, because they need to have something more than just a slap on the wrist for Deshaun Watson. They need to uh, look as though they are destroying him and destroying the Browns, because the public hates Deshaun Watson, And the rest of the NFL owners hate the Cleveland Browns because they paid Deshaun Watson. So if the suspension that's given out by Sue Robinson is too light, I think the NFL will appeal and they will give him something significantly heavier. That is the the first possibility. The second possibility, which I think is far more likely, is that uh, Judge Sue Robinson will give Deshaun Watson a somewhat heftier suspension, maybe something like 10, 12, even possibly up to a, uh, I guess, 17-game suspension at that point. And if that is the case, if Deshaun Watson's suspension is, at the bare minimum, pretty significant, I don't think the NFL will appeal. Deshaun Watson might appeal, his side might appeal, in the NFL Players Association. But if this suspension that uh, Judge Robinson gives out is, even in the in the slightest uh, bit, like, significant or harsh... I think the NFL will step back and say that is that is her decision because when you're considering this big picture and how things are going to continue to work with the whole independent disciplinary officer set in place, it would be a bad look for the NFL to immediately uh, base, you know supersede uh, Sue Robinson with the the first decision that she ever makes. As the end, as the NFL's you know supposed independent uh, disciplinary officer, if the first decision she ever makes, the NFL has to step in and basically change the whole thing. I think that that in and of itself would be a bad public relations look for the league. So if it's a decent suspension, if it's a if it's a 12 game suspension, I think the NFL would say that's that's good. That's good enough. And then they will point to the fact that they leaked out earlier in in the in the you know process that they leaked out the fact that they wanted an indefinite suspension. This is what uh, a lot of people who are in the know are suggesting. Charles Robinson of Yahoo Sports, he he had an article about this that the NFL will be able to whatever happens point to the fact that they leaked out 
their desire for an indefinite suspension, and they'll be able to say, that's what we wanted, but this is what our independent officer decided. So if you're a Browns fan and you want to see Deshaun Watson play this season, then the better outcome, honestly, would be for Sue Robinson to give a stronger uh, suspension as opposed to something lighter, like a like a six to eight game suspension. I don't think that there's any chance that it's a zero game suspension. I don't think that there's any chance that it is a, a 60 to 70 game suspension. I think it's going to be somewhere from that eight to eight to like you know 12 range games. Uh, and, and then depending on where it falls, depending on how harsh this is, I think the NFL could step in and give Watson something more significant, like a 17-game suspension, to send that message to him and to the Cleveland Browns. But who knows? I have no clue. Nobody has any clue what's going to happen until we actually get the results from the disciplinary hearing. But let me know in the comments how long, what do you think this is actually going to be? What type of suspension do you think Deshaun Watson is actually going to end up getting? Thanks for listening to the Mason Talk Sports Show. I will see you in my next episode. Goodbye.